welcome to Luthia Shorts number one. Uh, in this series of videos, I'm going to be exploring some little tips and tricks to help luthiers and guitar builders, and probably some random things here and there that I do around my studio. Maybe not so much tricks and tips, but um, I don't know, interesting things that are going on. Anyway, in this first video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate a hygrometer. A uh, very important device used in guitar building and in luthery and woodwork in general because it shows the relative humidity of your shop, of your working environment, which is super important in protecting the woods and protecting the work that you're working on. So this method is known as the salt method and the idea is that a saturated solution of water and salt will force the relative humidity of a localized environment such as a Tupperware container or a Ziploc bag to 75% and therefore you can know if your hygrometers are out of calibration or inaccurate if they have not reached or read 75% after being in the bag or the container with the salt solution for a certain amount of time. Okay, so here we begin. These are the items that you're going to need to perform this test. Your hygrometers, uh, an airtight container, a Ziploc bag is also good, salt, water, and a bottle cap. So fill the bottle cap up to the top level with salt. Make sure it's nice and level. And then simply add water. Ordinary tap water will do. Make sure it's quite wet but not too wet you want the kind of consistency of wet sand or so don't flood it too much then simply take the bottle cap place it into the container with your hygrometers and then simply seal it up nice and tight Now we're going to leave it overnight or for 12 hours or so and hopefully when we come back the next day the reading on the hygrometers will be 75%. If they're not, we know that they are not accurate and they need to be adjusted. So here we are 12 hours later and as you can probably see already both hygrometers are reading around 70% which means they're not accurate over time they have gone out of accuracy with this hygrometer with the analog hygrometer it's very easy to make an adjustment with a kind of screw in the back and a very small screwdriver by adjusting this we can redefine the position of the needle so that it now reads 75% which is where we know it should be at this moment. And there it is, 75%. With this one however it's not possible to adjust so we have to make a mental note maybe on the back here somewhere of how many points off it is. When it was in the container, it read 71%, so we have to make a note that it's four points behind. Okay, so that is it. Um, now you know how to test and calibrate your hygrometers. And thank you for watching and listening to the first Luthier Shorts. See you next time.